For serious YouTubers, save time and money with TubeBuddy, the premier tool used at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On my continuing open shot tutorial series, today I'm going to be talking about how to actually set up Blender within OpenShot. I have covered this before, but in this case, I'm gonna get into more detail of actually how to do that because on that video, it wasn't exactly a step-by-step -step process on how I did it. So in this video, I'm gonna do that. So if you have not installed OpenShot and then you do try to install OpenShot within the software manager, you'll notice that the versions in the software manager, they're old. Uh, not only for OpenShot, but also for Blender as well. And so you'll need both of these programs in order for this to work. And I'm going to do this in my virtual machine where I have Linux Mint 18.2 running. Okay, so let me go here. So let me show you what I mean. So if you go to the website to download OpenShot, the version that they have here is 2.4.1. And then on Blender is 2.79. Okay. And if you actually go to your software manager, uh, you'll notice that the versions here are actually older. This is 1.4.3. And then if you look up Blender, you'll also get an older version here as well, which is 2.76, okay? And so at least for these two pieces of software, I do recommend that you go to the website for Blender, download it and install it. And then for OpenShot, you can either download and install it or you could add the PPA. I recommend doing the PPA, okay? So once you get that done and you open up OpenShot, this is where the whole Blender issue comes in, okay? So let me show you what I mean. So if you go here to title and animated titles right here, if you try to use any of these animations, okay? it'll tell you you need to use Blender 2.78 or greater, okay? And if you install Blender straight from the software manager, like I said, the version that you have will actually be the older version, so this will not work, okay? And so what you wanna do here is you actually want to make sure it's pointing to the right path. So right here under preferences, there's Blender. So right here, it'll actually point to the versions that's actually installed here okay which is unfortunately it's not the newest version okay so what you need to do is once you've downloaded blender uh, which i have already done so right here so when you actually see the blender file first thing you want to do is actually extract it right here okay so once you've extracted the file you see the blender folder right here and within this folder this is actually the blender executable this actually startup blender so if you double click on it there it is the brand new version of blender so what you want to do is change the path to where it points to this directory to execute this version of blender and so the easiest way to do that is you could go up one level you see this folder just right click on your mouse open in terminal and what you want is the path okay so what i would do just type in pwd okay and this is the actual path to this particular directory, the entire path. So what I would do is just highlight this whole thing, okay? If I could get my mouse right. <laughs> highlight this entire path, right click on your mouse, copy, go back to open shot. Then you go here to edit, preferences, and see right here? You definitely want this blender part at the end, but just paste this right here, okay? And then see where Blender is? Just put a forward slash right there, okay? Then you could close that. And then if you go to Title and Animated Titles, it should have the right path now, so let's see if that works. See, there it is. And then you would just simply render it. And then once it's finished rendering, you could actually use this animated title. And uh, that's how you set up Blender in OpenShot. Uh, I wish there was a simpler way, but unfortunately, uh, that is the current way that's 
been being used and it's actually the same way that's been used for a long time now and so uh, that's it on how you properly set up blender to work with OpenShot. if you had any other ways in which to do that be sure to leave that in the comments area below and as always if you did get value out of these videos leave a like and subscribe and if you wanted to support my channel further you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and i'll see you outdoors on the very next episode